What? Glenn Sanders here with our... Uh, we have a little boy saved by his own dad and murdered by his own dad as well. <laughs> We have our specialist, Scott Shelby, on the case. <laughs> Thank God they're going to interview the boy. Thank God he's lived. Well, the origami killer is out there, though. The origami killer is still out there. Two of the main characters are dead. Dang. Thanks, good Detective Blake. Blake, you son of a bitch. Wait, Blake got suspended? Yeah. Good. He needs to go to prison. Fucking hothead. <laughs> Get this hothead out of here! Fucking. Fucking Dark Knight Rises. Get this hothead out of you. Oh, it's a kid. Damn. There's Dad's grave. Fuck, I hope his whole mother isn't I there. Avenge you. Yep, there's her whole mother. I'll avenge you, Dad. I'm the Dark Knight. <laughs> I'm Batman. <laughs> I'm Batman! <laughs> like a like little kid saying it. I'm Batman! Well, at least he, the son knows that his father did everything he could. And fuck this bitch. Fuck you. Why'd I help him? What a good kid. I'm glad I almost killed him. <laughs> Saved him from a shitty life. You gave him the shitty life. Now he's... What the fuck? Tossing, twisting, turning. Oh, she changed her hair. <laughs> no, she died. Oh. She died like a slut because she is a slut. And you Fuck think her. you're gonna, you think you're gonna take my job? You try and medicine? take my job. I take your job. You're dead. Suck my crotch. Okay, Brittany, it's a wrap. Yeah. Fuck this bitch. Her arm comes out of the grave. <laughs> what the fuck's going on here, Blake? You're, so you're fired. Splendid. Yeah, no one cares about him. I have to go. Probably gonna get drunk before. No problem. Jaden. Wait, where the? F he died too. When? The the butt drugs, I guess. What was the last thing that happened with him? I don't remember. I guess he's dead. Did he die and we never noticed? I don't know. <laughs> he almost put him on. He's like, I will become the Batman. <laughs> uh, he better put him on. Put him on, Blake. Put him on, Blake. You become, you become the butt drug master. <laughs> become the butt man that this world deserves. But he's suspended. Doesn't matter. Put him on, Blake. You know you want to. <gasps> Fuck yeah, man. This is better than any butt drug substance. Met Nirvana. This is him realizing that Street Fighter is also trash and the only fighting game. <gasps> what the fuck? You become one with the butt drugs. What? That doesn't make any sense. Is his ghost he's, live in the sunglasses now? Maybe he's not dead and that he just lives in the sunglasses. So now they're like Piccolo and Nail or something. 
Scott Shelby's back. <gasps> he gets a happy ending. Time to make you a woman. Oh shit. She figured it out. He's gonna have to end her too. Fuck, man. So I killed your kid. I guess that's he got his. Well, just I'm desserts. glad I saved her out of the car. Oh, written and directed by David Cage. You fucking kill him right there, you guys. <laughs> you kill one innocent person. There. <laughs> You killed one innocent person. So what do you think of that game? I guess it's over. I guess it's over. There was a scene that I was waiting for the whole game that I, w I thought would be funny as fuck. And it's where the FBI butt drug guy is like trying to solve the case. But if you didn't cl get all the evidence, it's like practically impossible to do it. So when I had that scene, I didn't have all the evidence, and I was just like, oh, you take this, and you... It's like he's dying from this thing. Oh. Like, the, the drugs are killing him, because he has the glasses on, and he has all the information, and he's trying to solve it, and you have to solve it before you die. Mm. And I knew you would be freaking out, and like, die probably, and it would be funny as fuck. But our end. ending was completely different than when I played. It was, like, straight up completely different. Like, Ethan and... The origami killer like got on top of on top of that building and were fighting on a crane and shit. <sighs> but then again, I also didn't run away from the police or anything. As Ethan. Uh-huh. And I don't know. It was like like I didn't run away like this part. I like I think I stayed with him. Like a lot of stuff was different. Holy fuck! But I mean, a lot of the scenes, like, are the same, you know, like, th that scene is the same every time. It doesn't actually... Oh, that's if you succeeded to get into, like, oh, the yeah. mob house. Yeah. If I wasn't such a klutz. I'd fucking beat your ass. Oh, it's all slow-mo. Well, I do rain. briefly beat the game. Uh, it was kind of bittersweet. Uh, I guess... Origami killer got what he deserved. Uh, the boy's alive, but he's, his dad's dead. Uh, it was a tragic ending. It was a tragic story. I it was tragic the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the best thing was Blake putting the glasses on. It was so funny. Like, I don't remember what happened to him in my playthrough, but that, that was I think that was a funny way. No. I remember that one guy did die. I don't know if he died in this one or not, because there wasn't really a scene where he died. We didn't play as him. I don't know. I don't know what happened yeah, the last thing know. we played with him. We'll have to watch the episode. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's definitely, uh... I'm just glad I never have to play it again. Oh. <laughs> Good ending run. No, just kidding. Good ending run. Maybe eventually we'll play the, I mean, uh, uh, Detroit. Yeah, Detroit. City of Evil. Or whatever oh, it's please. called. What is it called? Detroit something. It has like a hashtag on it, I think. I just, just call it Detroit. Robot game. Robot <laughs> Android Detroit. Well. Well, that was fun. Very depressing. What feels like a true detective type ending. How do you feel about David Cage now? After finishing one of his games? I see why he got more work after. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah? But we'll see how Green Goblin's game goes. Beyond Two Souls? And if that game isn't good. Well, I mean, after playing this one all the way through, I bought that one day one. Oh. Be mainly because of Ellen Page, but... Also, I didn't have. I didn't so you didn't buy a, a Detroit right away day one because it's not as good as 
heavy rain. Exactly. And I just don't play as many games these days. But, like, I definitely am still interested. But, yeah. I definitely would say this one's better than... The, the Beyond Two Souls plays better, but I would say this one's better. Story-wise, at least. Mm-hmm. And, like, shockingness, you know? Yeah. Like, the plot twist, like, was pretty good, I thought. Yeah, it was pretty good. Playing the whole game and not knowing until the very end. Yarp. That caught me off by surprise. Your jaw was on the floor. Fucking playing as the fat fucking lunatic guy. At least I saved that lady. Imagine if I didn't let save her. He... He would have got Scott got away scot free. I she don't know if dr- you you might have had drowned. to you might have had to save her. I, some I can't I don't remember. Like there might be a way to not do it, but I feel like I don't know. Mm. Well, I'm glad that you picked to play as him though, because I wanted you to be like, what have I done? <laughs> <laughs> You'd have well, the well, realization well, that you, the character you were playing as. That's was because I thought, like, the investigator and the FBI agent had a lot of pull through the story. It looked like the main character. Mm-hmm. And I guess the other girl had a lot of more pull. It was bad. <laughs> not bad, not bad. Well... I love how they promoted the soundtrack for this game, though, and it's like, it's a whatever soundtrack. It's not like... I like the... the, 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 the I mean, like, it's alright, but it's not like, you buy the soundtrack, it's so good. <laughs> it's like, alright. Um, 